Hello everyone! I hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day weekend even though it's rainy, cold, and gross. But there's always things to turn your frowns upside down. So today I am making cornbread and I'm sharing it with all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Like, share, follow, share with your friends. Tell them to come on and watch Mama Misty's Real Kitchen. Everyone is welcome. I have a kitchen full of kindness to share with everybody. So again, thank you for watching today. We are making cornbread. I am going to be using a golden uh, cornmeal. I do have white cornmeal, but I don't think um, I'm going to be using it for my cornbread today. I'm going to be doing a golden one. So here we go. So exciting. I haven't made cornbread in a while and I'm doing a jambalaya tonight. So I told David, mmm, cornbread would be a good partner for that. So here we are. I'm going to be doing all my dry ingredients first. You always mix your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients separate and then you get the love all together in the melting pot and that's when you pour it into portions. I'm going to be doing muffin style today though. Not one big cornbread. It's going to be portioned out into muffin style. Um, I think it's easier that way. I like to do my things in small portions. Um, that way when I give things away it's here you go. It's already wrapped for you with love individually. I do that with my brownies, my cookies, my Rice Krispie treats. I do everything in portions and that way um, it's much easier to say, here, enjoy. Okay, here we go. So we are starting with the dry ingredients. Uh, you will need one cup of flour and you're going to need a cup of cornmeal, whichever kind you like. White, yellow, your choice. Um, you are going to need a quarter of a cup of sugar. I have everything here measured already. I have to sit there and watch me do the mathematic measurements and all that nonsense. So we have a cup of cornmeal, a cup of flour, and a quarter of a cup of sugar. Then you need three teaspoons of baking powder. And about a teaspoon of salt. And that's it for the dry ingredients. Then you just mix those up. Um, just make sure it's evenly distributed. And then you're going to put it aside. And then we're going to do the wet ingredients. I hope everyone's enjoying the Memorial Day weekend. It's very sad. I feel like Memorial Day always brings rain. Am I the only one who thinks that? I worked in the restaurant business for so long. And Memorial Day was always extremely busy because of the weather. People plan to camp and take their families away. And guess what? The floodgates open from the skies almost every year. So I'm so sorry for those who are camping or rained out. It, it stinks. It's a bummer. All right. So we've got our dry ingredients mixed up. It's all set for later. Now the wet. So super easy. Um... Actually, I'm going to do the egg first because you have to beat it. You can't just uh, plop, drop an egg in there. Okay, so we're going to crack this egg real quick. Here we go. And you're just going to whisk it up. Yeah, because you want the whites and the yolk mixed well. Because you are mixing this with your dry ingredients. The fun part, I'm super excited. The fun part is showing you how I'm going to grease and flour my muffin pan. Because I'm doing it the OG way. My mom taught me to grease pans and my dad. Um, it's it's not really anything special, but it's just the way I always do it. And I do it the way they taught me because it just makes me feel closer to them. Um, my mom hopefully watches today. So we have a beaten egg. Just one. That's all you need. You're going to need a cup of milk. You can do whole milk. Um, but this is what I do for my cornbread. This is, I never copy a recipe. <laughs> I look at a recipe if I don't have one of my own already and I reconstruct it a little bit. I always do a little tweak here and there and it makes it mine. It makes it my flavors, my, my thoughts. Cause I, I don't like to copycat. I love ideas, but I don't like to copycat. That's why any of my recipes, please turn them into your own. I'm, I'm pushing you to do that. I'm encouraging, encouraging you to experiment. And that's what I do. I experiment. 
and most of the time it comes out pretty good so I'm doing that today well I'm making it mine so instead of a cup of just milk any old milk I did a cup of milk well three quarters of a cup of milk and a quarter cup of yogurt so we're just gonna mix that and what it does is it, it makes it creamy because I don't have buttermilk uh, to put in my cornbread which would be ideal but yogurt's gonna do the same thing a good uh, mixture for coleslaw too if you make your own coleslaw dressing same thing yogurt's actually a really good ingredient so we're gonna mix that up make sure it's all good and well I have two percent milk and I have I have three quarters of two percent milk and I have a quarter cup of yogurt so we're gonna be putting that in with the egg good stuff going on here all right so one more thing um, you need a quarter cup of vegetable oil any oil you choose, but vegetable oil is pretty um, universal. Vegans, vegetarians, anyone can use this. This is not vegan because I put, obviously, the dairy and the egg in there. I'm sure I can make it vegan though, because I always have another recipe for those lovely ladies. Um, I hope you all watched the video with my granddaughter. She's a hoot. All right, so we're mixing up the milk, the egg, and the vegetable oil. Now this, you really got to mix. Um, the vegetable oil is gonna make look it, it's gonna make it look separated, but it's not. Just mix it well, and you won't see that separation. So we're just mixing, getting my biceps going over here. All right, so there we go. See, it's mixed nicely. There's no separation in it whatsoever. So yeah. Okay, now we have the wet. And we have the dry, so we're going to recap again. We have a cup of cornmeal, a cup of flour, um, about a teaspoon of salt. We have three teaspoons of baking powder up in here, okay? Um, then we have one scrambled egg, a cup of milk, but I use three quarters of a cup of milk with a quarter cup of yogurt, um, and then just a quarter cup of vegetable oil, okay? Wet and dry. Now we mix them. Now we're mixing our wet and dry. Okay. Spatula. I need to get some more of these. Remember my last one broke? Making the lasagna. All right. So we're putting the wet into the dry. Now you just mix it up. So now when we're mixing this, I'm not putting it in mine, uh, but now after you mix this, now's the time to add. You can add shredded cheese, some cheddar cheese. You can add some diced jalapenos. Um, use your thoughts, you know. Do what you like. I know if you go out to some restaurants, they have a lot of things in there. Honey, you can add some honey to it. But I'm just making an old school uh, cornbread. I've been doing a lot of old school lately. I did old school Rice Krispie treats too, which came out amazing. Um, but yeah, this is just some... OG cornbread. All right, so looks really good. Just mix it well, make sure there's no clumps, but it's pretty incorporated. It looks good. It's nice. It's nice for pouring. So this is all mixed up. We got that. Now we have our muffin pan. My oven is already on 425. They're gonna make. They're gonna bake for like 15 to 20 minutes. The muffins. Um, if you're doing a whole bread go 20 to 25 um, but now this is what we're gonna do old school so my muffin pan you want to grease them and flour them I'm gonna grab some flour and just a little bit just put them in a measuring cup for a hot minute because you'll need ooh, you'll need a tiny bit you don't need a lot so now, now, when we baked in my house with my parents, um, my dad used to make pork pies and stuff. Um, anytime we greased pans, you know, the pie pans and things like that, we always used a baggie on our hands. So a baggie on our hand, and then you dip it. I have some Crisco here. 
you dip it in the Crisco and then you grease. You grease your pans. You just go around in the middle and you'll just grease it all. I got Crisco on my baggie. You just go around to all of them because it's lubricating them because you're going to add flour. Some more. But this is the technique that my family used to use growing up. Is the baggie, instead of having it all over your hands. At least I think that's why they put a baggie on it. <laughs> I don't know what else you'd want a baggie on your hands burning out Crisco, but I assume that was why. And this was one of the jobs that my father would let us do. There's only certain things, especially when you're making pork pies, which eventually... Ladies and gentlemen, I will be doing some pork pies on here. Um, I won't make the normal 15 that I usually make, but I will make a few. Um, traditional French Canadian, my father's recipe pork pies. But today we're doing corn. All right, so I'm just greasing all these, all greased up with my baggy hand. Now, done. And I don't have Crisco in my hands. So that's my little old school trick. Okay, so now that's all good. Now we're just flouring each of them because you don't want your cornbread to stick. Cornbread sticking isn't good. So we're just putting a tiny bit of flour in each. Tiny, tiny, tiny. You don't want to dump a whole bunch of flour in there. A, you don't want to waste flour because you can use it for baking and such. Um, and then we just want to bang the side of your pans because it vibrates all the ingredients in there okay you bang it that's where it goes so now you tilt tilt another thing my father told me tilt it around shakes it around all good now all your pans are lined all your cups are lined but now you're gonna bake out the excess and it's going in the trash so I'm gonna dump that trash is right here but I'm banging it because you don't want clumps of flour in your pan Flour and grease our pan. Okay, now so I'm gonna bang it one more time. Ooh, got some flour. All right, there we go, much better. Okay, so here we go. We have our flour pan. No more excess. Yes. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure. I don't want clumps of flour on the cornbread. Okay, we're all set. Everything's floured. Now we pour. So we're going to get that lovely cornbread mixture that we just did. And we're going to pour. Don't fill them up all the way. You want to fill them up three quarters of the way because they are going to rise a little bit. This is still baking here. You know, it's not something flat. All right, but you're gonna fill them up three quarters of the way. Don't fill them up all the way, you'll regret it. Slowly, slowly. You can use um, a pouring vessel as well. Or even, they have those guns now you just squirt out. It reminds me of like the old pancake guns we used to have where I used to work. Um, but yeah, just fill them all. Three quarters of the way, not all the way, because you have ginormous cornbread. It'd be like Jack and the Beanstalk, but cornbread. Okay. Actually, I got a little excess, but that's okay. All right. Actually, I can put a little more in one of them. Evaluate each cup. Make sure that you can't see more. Okay, which is what I'm doing right now. All right. Um, yeah, I can fit. This is actually a smaller cupcake pan than normal. I have, I have big ones. I have a lot of cupcake sheets. I have the mini ones, which I use for my peanut butter Reese's cup brownies or uh, cookies. Those are so good. Okay, there we go. All right, so now. 
We are all set to go. We're gonna put this in the oven uh, for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna see what they look like. Okay, so it's time to take out our corn muffins. I'm gonna grab those now. Ooh, they look so good. I'll put them right here. Ooh, and toothpick test. We all know that. Hope so. You put it in, nothing comes out. They're done. Yay, it's clean. All right, they're done. I can shut my oven off. And now we'll take one out to see. Okay. So now, let's see how these beauties came out. They look really good. They look delicious. And fluffy. Look at it. Look at that. Oh my goodness, they look so good. I'm going to cut it in half so you can see the middle of a fresh corn muffin. Well, this is for dinner. It's cornbread. Look at that. Perfect. I'm so excited. We're going to have these with our jambalaya tonight. But that is my cornbread recipe or corn muffins. But it's delicious. They are hot. They are steamy. They came out great. I'm going to take a nice bite while they're hot. Mmm. Yep. Legit cornbread. Perfect. Soft. Moist. Not crumbling apart. That's the worst. Is when you have them and they just crumble. It's still moist, but it's not falling all over the place. So please, try to make some cornbread. Add some cheddar cheese, add some jalapenos, do whatever you want, but this is a great recipe. It's delicious. And we will be back next time with who knows what I'm gonna make. Just kidding. I um, actually don't know what I'm gonna make next time, but we will wait and see. But I am going to cool off my cornbread muffins and David and I will be enjoying them with some, buff some uh, jambalaya tonight. I'm gonna make a turkey sausage um, kielbasa jambalaya tonight so this will be a good accompaniment for it thank you for watching thank you for following please like share and give me some comments i love to converse with all of you but i do appreciate each and every one of you enjoy your holiday weekend i'm sorry for the rain thank you for watching my kitchen full of kindness and smiles until next time take care